Vita Pangai Jr. has given up on his very promising boxing career that lasted. Who saw that coming? Fights. Last year, he retired from the game rugby league, walked out on a ridiculous contract, and the Bulldogs said, see ya, because he was playing like absolute, well, not very well. Despite playing Origin, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't bank my head on uh, Brad Fittler last year, looks like he's coming back to the game that he left, what, six months ago and retired from and said, no more, I'm going to boxing. He's been linked with Melbourne. The, probably the only coach in the world that could get anything out of Tavita Pangai Jr. is Craig Bellamy. Three-parter here, Terry, or two-parter? We'll see where it goes. One, what do you think of him going to Melbourne? Two, do you think he can come back? And three, do you think that this would be allowed if he was playing well last year, or would the Bulldogs be kicking up an almighty stink? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a fourth part in here, because he's 28 as well. And that, again, surprises me. What's even more surprising is that he's born on the 4th of February and Angus Crichton is born on the 5th of February. And that's just thrown me out because I thought both of them were older than they were and they're a day apart at 28 years old. Um, The first point, I'm not surprised that he has thrown a boxing career out the window. I think he just did whatever he could to get out of the Bulldogs, right? The second thing, going to Melbourne, I actually don't think that's the best option for him right now. I know that... I know that Craig Bellamy is seen as this super coach. I know that that's the, the the opportunity to go down there. Melbourne don't have a good forward pack right now. That's not the move I'd be making if I was Tavita Pangai Jr. And you, to your third point, would the Bulldogs be... The Bulldogs couldn't wait to get him out the door. Had he warranted New South Wales form and selection, had he played all three games, and had he led the dogs from the front and... You know, got them out of the bottom four or whatever, and then said, "I want to retire." They probably the dogs probably would have kicked up a stink and said, "You know what? We're going to keep the deeds to your contract for the next couple of years, and if you want to go and play NRL again, you have to give us the first right of refusal, and you need to sign at market value." Mm-hmm. The fact of the matter is that they both agreed to break the contract. He got, got himself a little bit of a payout. He can now go and sign what clubs feel are market value for him. I just again, I don't think Melbourne is the right move for him. Where would we? Oh, I can't look. I can't. He can't start, and he's probably going to. Do, do you want to know if I'm Tavita Pango Jr.? Do you want to know the first phone call I'm making? Ivan Cleary. We got the best. I would have been a Premiership team. player with you, Ivan. I made a terrible mistake going to the Bulldogs. It hasn't worked out. I'm willing to take less money. I know you've got it now. Do you want Liam Henry on your, on your bench, or do you want Tavita Pango Jr.? Go to Penrith. Go back there. Turn your career around. I, I, I don't hate that call, to be honest. I just think if they if they got him and Dave Fafita, that is like just absolute sure. bullshit. He, his stock has fallen so far because at one point I had him on level with your Tinos and your Payne Yep, that was the level. It was those three were the next three stars. Two have kicked on. Pango Junior. I know he played Origin, but ugh, again, didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it at all. He deserved that Origin spot as much as 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 a Saifidi did. Yeah, completely. Shot at the Swafidis, I like it. But I just... Good on him for coming back. I'm trying to stay positive. I I think a lot of these blokes, these football players, go on box. And you can't play boxing. He was 27 when he retired. And you go and start. Now, I know he had a fight against box cart us. And he's a great athlete. He's very powerful. But he's not tall enough. He's not big enough. He's not powerful enough. And he's got 10 years less experience than these other blokes. He would have gone in and trained with a Justice Hooney or a... You know, a million or, or even some of these younger boxers have been doing a couple of years and gone, oh, geez. And he doesn't have the name of a Paul Gallon to go headline pay per views. He would have had to scrap for three or four years. And I don't blame him for saying, no, this probably isn't for me. I'm not sure that even happened. Maybe he just never lost the love for rugby league. Maybe he just saw greener grass and get me out of the Bulldogs and said, whatever happens, happens. I think it's more the latter than anything else. Or I just feel that if a player retires, if he was playing well, the Bulldogs would be saying, oi, no chance. Last year, they were like, all right, see ya, and he could sign for the Storm tomorrow, and the Bulldogs aren't going to say anything. It bothers me. This is a loophole that needs to be closed right now. If you retire, you're done for two years. Just Gornski's. you got to... If you Unless want to, you go back to the club there. that you retired from. Yeah, yeah. Of course, there's, there's reasons. You know, we've seen players come back. You know, Tom Brady did it famously in the NFL, but... Tamari Martin it's, did it. It's just... There's got to be something, and I think the fact that circumstances are the way they are, it's going to work out all right. I would be shocked if he doesn't sign for Melbourne. I think he'd be in first grade by the end of the year. Next year, though, he could be quite a player. It's fun. 